Good afternoon, um, my name is Irina Dragon and uh, I want to start this webinar thanking um, for the kind invitation. Uh, today uh, I'm going to present one of the cases that I've been uh, treating at uh, uh, Tufts uh, University School of Dental Medicine in Boston uh, in cooperation with my colleagues uh, Dr. Mascati and Dr. Her. Um, the topic today is how do we start the treatment when we're dealing with a generalized aggressive periodontitis case and we structure this presentation as a story so we're gonna have uh, different chapters that we're gonna discuss today uh, we're gonna start with the introduction uh, more information about diagnosis etiology of the disease um, prognosis and we're gonna end up with a uh, a suggested treatment plan and uh, a rendered therapy. In terms of the introduction, we're going to talk about uh, medical and dental history, clinical and radiographic findings, um, what did we identify with the use of the diagnostic cast, and because we are dealing with a periodontitis case, um, we did some bacterial testing as well. That being said, I just want to introduce to you my patient that came uh, in February 2013 and uh, she was complaining that uh, her teeth are mobile and she was like telling me, uh, I don't want to lose them. Do you think there is something we can do in order to save them? She did mention that uh, during the time the spaces between the teeth uh, has have increased and that was also one of her concerns. As mentioned before, she came to Tufts uh, in February this year. She's a high school student with uh, no significant medical history, no smoking and no alcohol consumption. But she does mention that um, her grandfather had gum disease and that he lost all her, his teeth. She was referred to Tufts by her general dentist. She does go for her regular checkups every six months. And in terms of her uh, oral care regimen, um, she's not very thorough, brushing only one time per day and flossing a few times per week. We're gonna start our uh, case presentation um, Going from the macroanalysis level to the microanalysis, we're going to provide some information about her smile analysis because it's very important. Our patient is only 17 years old. She's a very beautiful uh, young lady. Her profile, nothing that strikes us. A straight profile. But in terms of the smile analysis, uh, we do see that her um, smile line is low and in some areas it's medium. We can see the uh, display of the gingival margin. Um, her relationship uh, in terms of the incisal edge to the lower lip is reverse and the midline is skewed to the right side. Both F and S sound are inappropriate and we can see that in these two uh, pictures. But when we go more into details for the microanalysis, we can appreciate the shape of the maxillary arch and also that the premaxilla is uh, protruded. On the other hand, for the mandible, we can see that uh, some of uh, the teeth are malaligned and uh, also some of them are uh, malpositioned. In terms of the um, gingival display and uh, general overview in the maximal intercuspation, uh, we can appreciate that the papillae are blunted in some areas, um, some pigmentation again uh, localized. Um, we can see that um, the gingival margins are red, 
but if we go more into detail we can see that the uh, gingival zenith positions are not in the ideal location we can see the difference uh, from right side to left side especially for uh, the lateral incisors and canines and mentioned before uh, the papillae are also not uh, in their ideal uh, situation we can appreciate some uh, trauma and uh, some diastema as well when we are doing our analysis for the lateral side again uh, we can appreciate that the gingival margin um, is red the papillar bulbous on both right and left side on the palatal view the same aspect of the gingival margin that is enrolled um, in terms of the plaque control although she was brushing only one time per day we can uh, see that uh, we don't see a lot of plaque The same uh, story for the uh, lingual surfaces of the mandibular lateral teeth. Gingival margin enrolled, papilla inflamed. But when we stop at the lower um, anterior teeth, we can see that uh, the central incisor one of them is uh, extruded we can appreciate the spaces between the teeth malposition and malalignment in order to summarize our clinical findings uh, we identified um, an enlarged gingiva with uh,